after the radio device explosion in Lebanon. Japanese radio equipment manufacturer ICOM Inc. announced that it is investigating reports concerning two-way radio devices bearing its logo. The company is working to verify the details surrounding these incidents and assess any potential safety concerns. Japanese radio equipment maker ICOM said Thursday that it was looking into reports that two-way radio devices bearing its logo have exploded in Lebanon. Handheld radios used by armed group Hezbollah detonated on Wednesday across Lebanon south, just one day after similar explosions of the group's pages. Lebanon's health ministry said 20 people were killed and 450 injured on Wednesday in Beirut's suburbs and the Bekaa Valley. The death toll from Tuesday's explosions rose to 12, with nearly 3,000 injured. Reuters was able to obtain a model of the handheld radio, said to have been used in Wednesday's attack, known as the icv 82 in this video of Reuters' disassembly of the device, ICOM branding and Made in Japan labels are clearly visible. ICOM said it was not possible to confirm whether the radio product, reportedly related to the explosions, was shipped by the company. Sales of the device were reportedly discontinued about 10 years ago. ICOM said the batteries required to operate the device had also been discontinued. The company added that its products exported overseas undergo strict regulatory processes set by the Japanese government. ICOM has previously warned about counterfeit versions of its devices circulating in the market, especially discontinued models.